Oh, yeah. Our first guest is a legend in the music industry and one badass mama who can talk the talk. Welcome back, Sharon Osborne. Sharon! <laughs> Welcome back. I love you so much, uh, I, I, and I'm always happy that you're here because you you speak straight from your heart. You don't hold any punches, and that's refreshing in Hollywood. So congratulations for that, which is very difficult to do. Very difficult because of repercussions. Tell me about it. Yes, but you're like that in real life. In your holiday parties, you don't turn anyone away from your home, do you? No, it's always, you know, we have an open house because when you've got, like, my kids are, like, you know, in their 20s, so they've always got friends who are away from home, and so it's like just everyone come. Open what, house. Yes, and people drink, and they, they, they have fun, and they get drunk, and they're eating food, and it's happy. Yes, and I don't know them, and they wake, I wake up the next morning, and they're still there, and it's like, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Anything wild happened this Thanksgiving? Oh, Thanksgiving, my goodness me. So I didn't want to cook this Thanksgiving because <laughs> I'm not a good cook. So I said, all right, we're going to go out to dinner. So I went to this very nice dinner, and the kids, Kelly had a couple of friends that wanted to come. Jack had a couple. And then Kelly goes, Mom, one of my friends has got another friend that <laughs> wants to come. So I'm like, oh, all right then, okay, bring them along. So I get there first at the restaurant and I'm waiting. They come in one by one and then suddenly this one friend of Kelly's that brought a friend, he's there and I can see this little pair of hands like this. And I'm like, oh, he's brought a child. But it wasn't a child. It was, it was a drunk little person. <laughs> and this drunk little person had his tie around here and he had a waistcoat on that was inside out and upside down. So the tag was like at the bottom here and it was all like flapping around and he's going, Happy New Year, Sharon. And I'm like, yes, it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Sharon. And then he kept going, I love you, Sharon. And I'm like, Thank you very much. Yes, and, and would you like some soup? <laughs> and it's like, now nah, I want another drink. And I'm like, oh, lovely. Um, can we give the little man a drink, please? And then he was insulting everyone in the restaurant. So halfway through, Jack just said, Mum, we're going. So he got this little person by the back of the neck like this, dragged him from the chair and said, I'm taking you home. And he literally threw him in his car and dropped him off home. So then it didn't end there. Then, he was staying in a hotel. Then we heard through another friend of Kelly's who was in the hotel waiting for the little person that the little person was on the roof trying to drop, jump off. Yeah. Yes. So he was trying to commit suicide. But then he decided not. So then he decided he'd rather have masturbate himself and eat chocolate. <laughs> so he gets a pile of chocolate goes into bed eating and messing with himself. So he had a, he had a nice Thanksgiving. <laughs> right? <laughs> and I'm getting this. I'm, I'm still having my dessert. And then Kelly goes, oh, mom is masturbating now. And it's all coming through on her phone. And I'm like, thanks, Kel. So I'm getting a blow-by-blow -blow bloody <laughs> thing from Kelly. What about if you saw him everywhere you went? Can you imagine? No. Like if you went to try on a dress and you go, hey, and he turns around and he's got like this with chocolate around him. <laughs> and he just runs. <laughs> just runs off. No, it's like Ozzy comes home from tour and I'm like, oh, I've just adopted another little baby. <laughs> In bed. Can you imagine? <laughs> With chocolate. Move with chocolate, move, move over with chocolate around his mouth. Yes. Oh my God! What happens in your house at Christmas? Is, is there cooking going on? Oh my God! I remember. 
Ozzy was at the Betty Ford Christmas. Uh, Betty Ford sent her one Christmas, sorry. <laughs> and they let him out like he was caged up. <laughs> they let him out to come to me for having his Christmas lunch. So anyway, he was doing the turkey and I'd prepared all this stuffing to put in the turkey. And I forgot to put it in. And I'd made it all up from this recipe and it was all there like a mound of this stuffing. So I think he's what am I going to do? So I just opened up the oven and the turkey's like sitting in there and I'm thinking it's too hot for me to put my hand in and stick it in. So I thought, I know what I'll do, I'll plonk it on top. So I got it all and I plonked it on top so it was kind of like a pyramid on top of the turkey. And I shoving it in, closed up the oven and then suddenly there was like smoke coming, the smoke alarm was going in the kitchen and then I don't know what it is, and Ozzy comes out and goes, fire, fire! <laughs> and he opens up and these flames are coming. <laughs> All the sausage had kind of, this sausage meat stuffing thingy majig had just kind of like exploded on top of the turkey and caused flames. And the oil, yeah. Yeah, it was lovely. What? <laughs> One of you had opened the oven and the little dude was in there. Like that, with chocolate, with chocolate. Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you have you ever seen a pot cook? Isn't it crazy what's going on with pot? Have Let you... me see. Oh, fabulous! Oh, it doesn't work when. No, it's a drum kit. It doesn't. But wait a minute. Well, go on. It... Who did that? <laughs> well. I don't even think I could do this. I couldn't even make a marijuana bloody cookbook. <laughs> what did you do? Are you lot doing that? <laughs> the, the, how, how, you, how much do you love doing the talk? Your show, the talk. Oh, I do. I love it. Does Ozzy watch the show? What did he think of it? <laughs> he likes the show. He does. But he goes, why is it you talk such crap every day? I don't know. What the f*** are you talking about? You talk <laughs> And I'm like, I just go along with the others, darling. I don't know what we're talking about. And he's like... Mm. That's great. <laughs> he, he, is, he is brilliant, isn't he? He is. I love having him on the show when he's performed. Uh, and he really is a, a, a master at what he does, and you guys are a great couple together and always have been. We'll be right back with more Sharon Osbourne. <laughs> We're back with Sharon Osbourne. Are there traditions at the Osbournes as far as gift giving for Christmas? I have a tradition. Um, <laughs> I don't have a Christmas list. I have a <laughs> list. So it's like, who's on my <laughs> list this Christmas? <laughs> and what does that consist of? <laughs> <laughs> you send <laughs> to the person? I used to. I haven't for a couple of weeks. So um, If they're unkind to you during the year, you put them on the list. On the <laughs> list, yeah. Give me an example. Not a name, but just tell me you, who you sent <laughs> I've sent it to a couple of writers. Um, a couple of musicians, a record guy that ran a record company one time. Yeah. And they get a gift, they're like, wow, I just got a gift. Yeah, a Tiffany and they box. Because it it's... it's Christmas. Everybody loves a Tiffany box. <laughs> well, if it's going to be, it's got to be some good. <laughs> right? Yeah. Cool. And you have, I love this, because of all your love of the holidays, I love that you have a Christmas story. To tell. Will you share it with us? I would love to. Can I really? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Okay. Sharon is going to read us a Christmas story. Yes. Okay, but well, we've got to get in the mood. I need the mood. I need the lights down. Come on, let's get in the mood okay. here. Fire away, Sharon. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even my spouse. The children were nestled all snug in their beds. God, I hope they move out before I'm dead. <laughs> when out on the lawn there arose such a clutter, I called LAPD to see what was the matter. <laughs> Away 
to the window I ran with my shawl, cause the cops never answer a 911 call. <laughs> I saw a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Dick. <laughs> what? Well, I think it's Saint, Saint Nick, Sharon. No, it's Saint Dick, cause this is your show but my story. <laughs> As I drew, as I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, Saint Nick came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his boots. He looked like a pimp. His bag was full of loot. I invited him in and brewed up some tea. He said, no thanks, Mum, I brought Hennessy. <laughs> I heard him explain as he went through the night. Quick, where's the toilet? I need to take a <laughs> <laughs> That's my little story. I love it. <laughs> and when he came down the chimney, you know who it was? <laughs> <laughs> Come the, in chocolate. The talk. Come, the talk airs weekdays on CBS. The one and only Sharon Osbourne. <laughs> Coming, my man is here next. Alan coming. Back.